watching. Hi guys, Venice Pista here, VST. Welcome back on the channel. A little unorthodox video for my channel. But if you have been watching my content, you know I do a bit of everything. I have here the MacBook Pro 2012, mid-2012. So I know I'm kind of like already nine years late with this review. And outside of the joke, this laptop here, Core i5, four gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabytes of hard disk, no solid state drive. It was running El Capitan and it was really very slow. So the previous owner actually said to me, hey, VST, please, can you make something? Help me fix this one. I want to throw it in the bin. Is there anything we can do? And I said, hey, let me just check something. In fact, this is the last MacBook from Apple. And this one, by the way, is the MacBook Pro that has the option for you to upgrade the RAM. So the RAM chips are not soldered on the main board, right? And you can see here, we have the MacBook Pro. And then I said, okay, let's see the hard drive, 500 gigabytes, too small, too slow. So I said, okay, here is my plan. Let me get you two chips of eight gigabytes each of RAM, which is here, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and let me throw in one SSD, 960 gigabytes, almost one terabyte. And then let me just throw you guys High Sierra because people are recommending the High Sierra Mac OS X is the best for the MacBook Pro 2012. Or we can also try to run the Catalina Lettuce one, see what runs better, but definitely worth the upgrade. So without any further ado, let me replace the RAM memory of this perfect Apple MacBook Pro 12, which is in a very nice condition. Last generation of Apple MacBooks where you still can change your RAM. It's not soldered on the main board here. And of course, also throwing a new hard drive. Okay, let's start. So you need something like this, it's a Phillips screwdriver to just make sure that you remove the back cover and then we're gonna need a Torx to release the hard drive. Okay, so this is what we need, let's do it. Pay attention because those are not the same. You can just see, and I'm putting them on the side, we have some longer ones and we have some shorter ones. All right, guys, all the screws are off again. Please pay attention. The screw that are here, here, and here are those ones. They're very long one. Now, once you have removed and unmounted all the screws, just lift up the cover like this, all right? So now, boom, cover is in my hand. Here, by the way, we can see this thing was never opened, so brand new, and I'm the first one, like it was still virgin in my hands. Here you can see this is really pushing the hard drive here. So here we have the hard drive, here we have the optical drive, here we have the fan, and here we have the battery, and this thing here, this is the RAM chips. We're gonna change them, of course. For the next step, it's very important to remove the battery connector. This is this piece here. So use a plastic plier. I don't have a plastic plier, so I just had to cut a card in place. Remove it very, very slowly and very gently because this connector is very easy and very prone to breaking. So let me just show you. You need to pry very, very easily with this. You can of course also use your fingernails. Now something very important guys, once this connector is off, just make sure to pull it aside. You don't want to have any residual electricity while working on the main motherboard. And now step one, I want to replace the old RAM and install the new one. That's very easy. You just need to press and hold like this. Boom. The first chip is already going away. Original Apple memory. 2 gigabytes, product of China, 2 gigabytes. You can see here, I mean, who the hell uses 2 gigabytes? in 2021 even the phone i'm recording this video right now has eight gigabytes of memory right so i think this macbook will really love me for what i'm about to do with it so first chip is gone see the second chip it is behind the first one so we need to just press and pry again like this and we're gonna get the second chip out as well now i have released it and you need to very kindly remove it from the socket okay no hurry
make sure that you remember exactly how they are aligned. Now, the RAM chip here has a shorter side, which goes like this, right? And this side here is longer, right? These things usually tend to fry if you try to put them like this, or in a worst case scenario, you know, you break them. So just memorize this. And now I'm going to leave the old RAM here. So this is the first chip. This is the second chip, right? And now install eight gigabytes of RAM, two times. 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's gonna be a powerhouse. Now this is the new RAM, first block, eight gigabytes of RAM. Make sure to have the right alignment, again, short side like this, and let's try to install it into the socket. Now the RAM chip is inside, okay, don't pry. You need to make sure that you secure here these levers, all right, and now you can install it. All right, first chip installed, very easy. Again, don't really pry these things too hard. Let's take the second chip, right? I know the Macintosh is gonna fall in love with me and let's align it in the right position. Shorter side here, let's try to install this as well. When you install the RAM chip in a socket, make sure that it's properly aligned and then press and boom. You should have this sound like this, okay? These two balls here should be perfectly aligned so that you know the RAM memory is installed correctly, okay? Now I just think that we did that one. And now we're gonna skip to the next step, which is actually replacing this hard drive. And because the previous owner told me that he doesn't really want to give his old hard drive away, I told him that I have a solution. This is actually this hard drive enclosure. It is USB 3.0. It will allow me to take the old hard drive, put it into this new enclosure, which is USB 3.0 ready, and then simply operate as a external drive. And of course, the person can save his pictures, music, documents, whatsoever. All right, but let's remove the hard drive. How do we do that? Very easy. We just need to unscrew these two screws here and remove this brace or this holder. All right, let's do that one. You don't need to remove the screws completely, remove them like this, and this is here actually the holder, right? Now guys, very, very important. This cable here connects the hard drive to the motherboard, so be very precise when you remove the old disk, okay? There is a holder here, put it like this, okay? And now you see, very easy guys, this here is the connector, okay? Now we should remove the connector from the previous hard drive, again, no rush here, no prying, boom! Here it is. This is the old hard drive. We need to use a Torx screwdriver to remove these screws from here and transfer them to the new drive. The only reason is to put the new drive into the enclosure and that it will not really jiggle around. It will stay safe, right? And make sure that you fit it inside so that the hard drive will not jiggle around, okay? This is a MacBook Pro, come on, you need to be a pro. Okay, let's use a Torx. This is the correct Torx, it's T6. All right, let me just switch the Phillips screwdriver. Now time to remove the old screws here. Okay, now time to put the old screws on the new drive. Okay, you see the positions perfectly matching. See, here it ribbon. We can take this from the old hard drive, okay, and put it on the new hard drive. So let's say you want to do this procedure, you know, you have something to gripe. Okay, simple as that. First one gone, second one gone, all right. Let's take the new hard drive and reinstall the screws. Don't screw them very tight, all right? This is plastic, so be very gentle. All right, screwing this one as well. Okay, now guys, the moment of truth. I need to reinstall it again. Be very careful with the interface. Okay, it's like this. Now these two screws will go into that hole, okay? No, one more try. Okay, now we got it. Now let's put the frame back and you see here, once I put the frame and I fasten it, you'll not be able to remove the hard drive. As simple as that. And you're gonna get a perfect fit, very stable. All right, let's put it back. All right, that's done. Be very gentle, don't over tighten them. See, hard drive now perfect fit, you cannot get it out. Now one last thing, we need to put the cover back, put all the screws and then we're ready to install whatever we want. All right, now we are done and the last step would be to put the cover on and then you can go and install whatever you want. But I just want to do some cleaning because see how it looks like. Here we are guys. If you have compressed air, then you can gently remove all the debris here, all the dust. I did manually, I don't have the compressed air. Now it does look a bit better. Don't forget, of course, to connect the battery, okay? 
just do it in the same way we did it before again very gently make sure it is into the socket okay boom here it is this is a very delicate piece of hardware so don't push too strong my recommendation is if you are doing an action and you see or you feel some resistance take another look right look twice act once the golden rule now we have the ram memory upgraded we have the new hard drive upgraded all fastened and sealed we have the battery connected we have the laptop all clean final step is to put the back cover on of course, I did also some cleaning here. Some MacBooks, if they're opened, this thing, this isolation is tear apart. So if you don't have this isolation, and this is really present here, the hard drive, you can put something else, okay? I'm now lucky again, this laptop belongs to a very nice and dear friend of mine. And I know this actually never been opened here. So remove all the dust and debris here, and now proceed with the reinstallation. Okay, properly aligned. Now put all the screws back. All right, now should be done and dusted, guys. Here, your brand new MacBook Pro 2012 Meet, now rocking 16 gigabytes of RAM and a new almost one terabyte solid state hard drive. Now you can just open your MacBook, you can go to recovery and you can install whatever you want and you probably enjoy a very optimized experience compared to what it used to be, rocking only four gigabytes of RAM and using this very old hard drive. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe, it's really much appreciated. You and your families, please stay safe. Don't forget to watch what happens on the channel. We're gonna catch up in one of the next videos. With that said, VST, over and bye.